Hey guys, what's going on? It is Vito324 back again with another BeamNG Derby video. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to apologize for the delay in uh, posting contents. I was actually waiting for the latest RDP update uh, before I uploaded another uh, video, um, mainly because I wanted um, what was in this update. Um, I heard some rumors that they were possibly coming, and they are here. Um, what I'm exactly talking about are the new 726 Customs bumpers. Uh, we finally got the 726 Customs pointy replica and the 74 uh, Chevy replica, which is what I'm running on my car right now, this round back. Um, <clears throat> so, um, as I said, there was a update posted uh, recording of this video yesterday, um, the 16th. So, um, the main point of the update was they added the 726 Customs Pointy replica and the 74 replica. Um, the Cadillac has been removed. Uh, reason being, um, the Cadillac is actually being reworked um, as of now. Uh, it is in the works right now. So um, that should be done probably, I if I had to guess, maybe a month, a, a couple months maybe. Um, there was actually a couple buffs in this update, meaning that th uh, these uh, particular areas of the cars were strengthened. Uh, the O3 suspension, O3 steering, the Vic bubble body pillars, the Crown Vic rear frames, the Shocker subframes, the T-Bird suspension, metric GM frames, round back rear frames, the Buick fenders, core support and trunk, and the stock solid GM suspension. Um, the Ols back pillar area was nerfed, meaning that it was a little bit weakened. Um, added various uh, missing options like hoods, nine wire, rear window bars. Um, adjusted some of the models uh, on the cars and uh, just your typical bug fixes and file cleanup. So uh, that was the patch notes of the latest uh, Realistic Derby Project update. Uh, you can find that on Patreon if you don't have it already. Um, all the links to the Patreons that I do support are in the description, like I always say. Um, also in the description is a link to my Twitch channel where I stream multiple times a week. I also have a Discord server. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or you want to know something about uh, my content, what I post, or anything for, uh, pertaining to video gaming, or you just want to know something about me, uh, or you just want to keep up on what I'm doing, I am more than welcome, more than willing to help you guys out. Also, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So, um... Another big change that you guys might see is the track. <clears throat> this is actually based off the Las Vegas Derby track uh, that was used for a team show uh, put on by Stir and Dirt uh, several years ago um, out in Las Vegas. Uh, this track was put out by SMR Graphics and Trackworks. Uh, they do have a Patreon link to it in the uh, description. They also put out uh, a plethora of multiple uh, track packs. Um, I highly recommend getting it because they put in some work. I mean, look at the detail in this stuff. It is absolutely phenomenal. So definitely check it out if you don't have it. So uh, the cars I'm running in this episode, or video, I should say. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to run the Roundback Wagon. Um, because I am actually testing, uh, some cars for a team show coming up at the end of next month, um, put on by Hellbent Promotions. Uh, they are doing a virtual Gold Rush. Um, now Gold Rush is a team show put on by Ultimate Derby, uh, out in South Dakota. Um, Hellbent is actually doing a virtual Gold Rush. So me and my team are going to be participating in that. So I am going to be testing out the round back um, to see how um, I want to see how it holds up to these rules. Um, 
the next heat I'm going to run a Lincoln, the two door Lincoln. And then depending on how long, um, the video is at that point, after I run the Lincoln, I'm going to run the full frame Imperial. So you might possibly get three vehicles in this episode. Um, several people have been wanting longer videos. Some people have been wanting shorter videos. Well, for those of you that like longer videos, this one's going to be for you. So, um, yeah, so that's enough of me talking. Let's get smashing.
<clears throat> All right. Well, <clears throat> I think running that bumper over might have broke my oil pan because I just seen a little pop up in the top left that said engine oil critically low. And that might have what did it in. That nose is excellent shape. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah. I didn't pop my radiator, as as you guys can see right here. I didn't pop the radiator, so I think it was a bumper that I ran over and it got into my oil pan. Oh no, I gotta do I gotta do some more testing with this because this was actually one of the final candidates that I was actually thinking about taking to the team show. But other than the obvious, um the nose on this thing is pretty stout. I like how the back end does holds up um may have to do some adjusting to the transmission gearing um or the rear gear to get it a little bit more uh as you say uh a little more pep in its step uh the front bumper is very very schmexy i love this front bumper it looks so good but now we're going to try out the Lincoln. And we're going to stay at Vegas. We're going to try the two-door Lincoln. <clears throat> this, this Lincoln is actually one of my favorite setups for 80 newer cars that I have. Um, I've run this setup in a video previously but not to this rule set. So we're going to see how it holds up. Uh, this one does have the 726 pointy on it. And that pointy is a absolute wrecking machine. So... All right.
Well, <clears throat> I am very, very pleased with that. <laughs> that car is an animal. So what exactly happened was when I do believe when I went into the nose of one of these metrics, my bumper my my front bumper kind of has a little bevel at the bottom right here this is what's called a climber so what it does is when i hit the bumper is going to want to just climb in or push its way in to whatever it's hitting so when i went nose and nose with one of those metrics I went over their front bumper and the bottom of my radiator then got damaged so therefore I popped my radiator and that's what ultimately what did this car in but man this thing is an absolute rock I'm very pleased with this car this this might be the car I run at the team show to be quite honest with you I am very very pleased with it but we still got one more car to test. So let's give that one a shot. That is going to be the full frame Imperial. I'm, I'm not expecting anything better than the Lincoln. But who knows? It could be. It might not. I don't know. But that, that Lincoln is a... Uh, that thing's a unit. Also, you guys, um, I did want to make mention of this. Um, I do want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in to my YouTube shorts. Um, I also posted those same exact uh, shorts onto my uh, TikTok. Um, I do have a TikTok. Um, easy to find on there, just Vito324. Um, you should be able to find me that way. If you would like to follow me on TikTok, that would be much appreciated.
Well, <clears throat> that was a dumb move on my part. Driving up the back of that Imperial, and I donated my front suspension. But overall, <clears throat> I'm very happy with the nose. The, with that 726 pointy on it, that thing is a weapon. Um, I love that bumper, and I'm probably going to run it on most of my cars that I run, if the rules allow. Uh, but as far as the back end goes for this thing, um, that's going to need some help. <laughs> um, it did not do what I wanted. I kind of wanted it to kind of wedge um, and just kind of curl, and it's not doing anything what I want. So overall, I'm I'm happy with it, but not as happy as I am with the Lincoln. I just ran the heat prior to this. That I mean, that thing, that was probably one of the most fun heats that I've recorded for my channel in a long time um so yeah um which car did you guys like the best let me know in the comments below i personally love the lincoln out of all the cars that i ran in this video um so yeah <clears throat> so if you are still watching greatly appreciate you much much appreciated um i do have a show coming up uh a paid money show it is full uh coming up this weekend um september 23rd at 6 p.m eastern uh showdown or street stock showdown number four this will be the fourth installment of this show um it will be streamed live on twitch um on my twitch channel link to it is in the description if you need to uh, find my twitch so that is going to be it for this video you guys um thanks for sticking around until the end much, much appreciated, and we'll catch you next time. See you.